This is part two of a programming example for hex gadgets. I'm marking out a few important points in the X and Z direction. There's going to be a pretty big cutoff burr from the last operation, so we'll face that off. First we'll face to a position of 50 thousandths to the other side of center line. Let's use G39 to make an automatic chamfer to the next move. The syntax is the same as the G36 function. So if you'd rather have a radius, change this G39 to a G36. We'll do the same for the stock diameter of 250. Now watch as I make a mistake. This is supposed to be negative 250 in the x direction. We need to cut in the z direction here in order to have something to link that chamfer to. Now we wrap it off the part. Here's another mistake. I usually put an M1 on the last line. Here comes the line numbers. I'm starting at line N400 and incrementing by fives. You're going to touch off the tool right here at the tip. It could be a stick tool or maybe a left-handed boring bar. Here's where I'm fixing all my mistakes. I want to do the drill next. That groove is very close to the drilled hole and I'm afraid of breaking the parts off. I'm going to do some quick math to find out how big the drill point is. Okay, the tool path is easy. Get to the center, go down enough to make your hole, and wrap it out. And I'm putting in line numbers starting with N500. Last is the groove tool. I had to make a guess at this diameter because it wasn't on the print. I'll be programming these grooves as straight in with no taper because it's not on the print. If we touch off this tool in two different places, it'll make the programming easier. I'm going to call the right side tool 6.6 .6 and the left side tool 16.16. .16. I want to turn the 160 diameter first because I think that we have a better chance of not breaking off parts. Now wrap it out to our X clear position. I'm done with tool 6, so I'm going to change to tool 16.16. .16. Rapid travel is still in force. We have to remember to turn G1 back on for feed rate for the next groove. I'm also going to reduce the feed rate. Did you catch the mistake I just made? Now wrap it off the part. Better fix that sign error. It would have cut the part off. I'm going to choose a Z clear position of 4 inches in front of the part so that it makes it easier to unload this piece and load the next. Here's M30 for the end of the program. Now I'm numbering the lines N600 and incrementing by fives. One last trick I use to stay organized. 
I'll make one program for the entire part. I'll use a G25 conditional jump. You input the beginning and ending lines of the operations that you want to do and how many times you want to do them. Next I'll do the same exact thing for the second op. Then M30 to end the program. If you put code in parentheses, the control sees it as a comment and it doesn't do it. Then for the second op, put the parentheses around line 10 and remove the parentheses around line 20.